Today I'm going to be kind of going over a couple things in terms of something that's near and dear to my heart. As a photographer, I understand the benefits personally of what it brings to my life and the, the relation I have in terms of how I view the world. But I think that the world's starting to catch up on that. I think photography, in my point of view, is becoming the world's favorite medium of art. But let me tell you why. I think photography in the recent age has become something of a game changer in modern society. It not only dictates how we view the world, but also each other. Social media and the internet have made photography a commodity, a necessity of sorts, but I'm here to explain how photography and study and practice really is one of the most true and genuine forms of communication and how we use it. And let me tell you a couple of reasons why. Everyone's got that little notification on their iPhone or iPad where it's asking you if you want to get that little extra iCloud storage because you have almost 6,000 photos on your iPhone. And why is that? Why would you have 6,000 photos on your phone? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you understand the value of your memories. This understanding of where you were and what you want to do and places that you've been. There is a beauty that comes when you look back in time. It's almost like a time travel paradox where you can go back and visit these moments that you'll never be able to go back to again. It's a rekindling of emotion when you look at some of these photos. Photography allows you to collect photos, not only because they are important, but because it connects us to the time where we were happy, inspired, or sad. I think photos give us perspective from where we have come from, and it gives us direction when we go and look forward. I think it's a collection of memories and places of times that our minds have already forgotten. This idea of reminding ourselves what is important and holding onto those photos is a resemblance of that. But photography, it's also not only for ourselves. I would argue that we've made photography about others too. The language of our era is how I would describe photography. This idea that the technological age has brought about this use of imagery and photos where social media and Instagram and all of these things give others a glimpse into our own lives and also gives them the, the ability to establish to each other what we like and what we don't like. They act almost as digital tattoos. They give us the outside world a taste of what we were interested in and what we want to do with our lives. We use them to establish on how we want to look, how we want to be perceived, and also where we want to go and places where we have been. It's a play card. Photography also plays a part in the fact that our society and all of the chaos that goes on, photography is hugely immensely important in terms of historical significance as well. I would argue that phot photography tries to establish the truth. O. Lauren from Time states that throughout history we have found how historical events and the stories surrounding them are shaped by even a pivotal photo. It gives clarity and emphasis with a visual aid where words do not do its justice. I can mention a few photos that I don't even have to show you that you immediately comes to your mind's eye. Things like Martin Luther King's March or the flag raising of Iwo Jima. Pivotal photos were in history have shaped how we view our lives and view history as we know it. These things are sad, these things are happy, but these things are ultimately inspiring and memories worth keeping. This is what gives photography its magic. Photography also gives the brutal context of a single moment in time. It's not always super nice, but it's important. And that's where photography gets its intrinsic value from. And I think the world is beginning to know that. Everyone that I know has an iPhone or a phone with a camera. We take photos almost non-whimsically, things of almost utterly no importance, but for whatever reasons we keep them. And I also think that it's per perfect freeze frame in time when it comes to finding the currents of what you want to do and places you have been. So in conclusion, I would probably argue, especially when the Washington Post article MS Roth states, photography allows the ability to be able to understand your surroundings more. It makes you more vigilant, more cunning, and more perceptive towards your surroundings. Everything in creation is people, sky and oceans and plants are telling you something. And I would agree, photography also plays the role of the eye being able to find these moments throughout time 
so that you can look back and understand the story of what made you, what made us, what made us together, the connections that we have. And then nothing else, photography plays a role, especially when memory fades, at least you have the photo. Thank you.